Hey gang. So it's Chandra or back to me. If y'all remember me from about three or four years ago. And I have to tell you, if you haven't noticed, I've gained my weight back. All of it, almost all of it. Um, let me go back. I hope everybody is doing okay. Um, let me go back a little bit. This is going to be, here's the deal. If y'all are just seeing this and if you've never seen me before, hello. Um, it is July 9th, 2019. I had my vertical sleeve gastrectomy on uh, December 30th, 2014. Um, and was doing great. Uh, over the course of the last couple of years, I'll kind of tell you what has been going on in my life. So, um, in, I think my last update to you guys was September of 2015. Um, at that point I had lost about a hundred and... 10 pounds ish. I was sitting at about 243. Um, in November, December, I take that back early December of 2015. Um, I found out I had melanoma, um, which is skin cancer. Um, the good thing is I caught it in time. It was stage one. Um, and it was on my arm and I will show you my war wound. Um, the good thing is they caught it. So, but it was a long and scary process. Um, going through the surgery, I had my lymph nodes taken out, all of that good stuff. Um, and so that um, sent me on my downward spiral. Here's a tip for those that are thinking about having vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Listen to what I'm telling you. When they tell you that you cannot have soda, when they tell you that you cannot have bread, sugar, sweets, chips, anything, yes, you can. Can you stretch? Your, your sleeve? I don't know. That's kind of, you know, some people say yes, some people say no. I don't know. I do know. I Five years later, I um, do eat more. I eat whatever I want to eat. Guys, this video right now is just me being honest, and I need you to know this. For folks that followed me in the past, that saw my journey, for folks that are going to see this journey coming up, news to follow, um, you can drink sodas. You can have sugar. You can eat a bag of chips. You know when they say, oh, your stomach won't let you do it? Maybe some people's don't. I drink two Pepsis a day right now. Two full cans of Pepsis. Minimum a day. Is it anybody's fault but mine? Nope. All my fault. I take full responsibility for it. I get it. Um, this is not, this video that I'm doing is not um, a video to point fingers or to say I'm not to blame because I know I am. Was my VSG surgery successful? Yes. Can you blow it? Yes. You can. I'm proof. So, on to, that was December 15th when I had my melanoma, or December of 2015 when I had my melanoma. I was out of that phase by about mm, March of 2016. August of 2016, I was in Nashville, Tennessee for a work trip and was at the downtown Hilton. 
Um, felt kind of funny, wasn't sure what was going on, didn't have any health issues, I felt fine. Um, passed out in the lobby, cracked my head open on the marble floor, got 10 staples in my head, was rushed to the emergency room. Come to find out, I had AFib of the heart. So my heart was jumping around. So I've been on medicine for AFib of my heart since August of 2016. So I'm on that. Uh, with AFib and stuff, jumping around and exercising, it's not really feasible. My heart rate when they took me in was 220 beats a minute. Um, if I just overexert myself in the littlest way right now, my heart jumps back up to 180, 200. That's just kind of walking fast. Um, so that put me at a huge disadvantage because I had been still, even though I had started eating a little bit more, which I shouldn't have, I get, I get it. I was still exercising, right? I was still going to the gym. I was still moving, shaking. Um, come August of 2016, I got scared because I'm like, oh my God, um, what if I do this and I fucking die on the floor. That's horrible. I don't want to do that. So since then I've been nervous and scared. And so when I'm nervous and I'm scared and I'm worried, like a lot of you guys I'm sure out there are, I eat. And that continued. My eating went up. My exercise went down. That was in August of 2016. Everything was good in 17. I was worried about my heart a little bit, still eating. Um, fast forward to 2018, March, last year. I noticed I was rapidly gaining weight. Like, I know I wasn't eating great, but I was rapidly gaining weight. I didn't know what the problem was. Um, come to find out, I was very lethargic, very tired. They did some blood work. My thyroid is dying. My thyroid doesn't work. So again, with the medication, more medicine. Um, and so long story short, guys. Oh, and then a couple of months ago, I was in Las Vegas, fell. You can probably still see the lump right here. It's little now. It was, I broke my nose. It was about this big. Um, so that's healing. So if you see this kind of hole and bump, it's because I fell, but it's healing. Fast forward to July 6th. No, today's the 9th. July 8th, yesterday. Fast forward to July 8th, 2019. The beginning of a new story for Chandra. I went to my old uh, bariatric surgeon that I went to for my VSG surgery. I hadn't seen him. Scared to see him. I didn't know what he'd think of me. Thought he'd judge me. Say I was a failure. Get out of his office. But I'm like, you know what? I'm literally 20 pounds away um, from where I was when I began my last journey. Um, so I went to Dr. Fass at Southwest Bariatrics in Austin, Texas. And he said, Chandra, he gave me a big hug and he said, let's fix you. So with the help of Dr. Fass and the help of Aetna Insurance, I am preparing myself for a revision. Yeah, revision, yeah. Excuse my clothes. I'm in my PJs because I just got out of work and it feels good. Um, revision. Here we go. So I am set up for what they call SADS. S-A-D-S. And it is a single anastomosis duodenal switch. That's what it is. Holy crap. I can't believe I remembered it. Single anastomosis duodenal switch. Look it up. 
I'll uh, post the name of it down here. Long story short, what it is, is it's for folks that have had uh, the sleeve or that have had uh, bariatric surgery in the past and it has failed for one reason or another. Um, it's a surgery where they basically, you know, your esophagus when you eat and it goes to your tummy and then it goes to your small intestine. They cut your tummy out of the picture, guys. So it goes from, I guess, your esophagus. They clip it. They move it down to your small intestine. No tummy involved. Needless to say, you're going to have to take vitamins um, so you don't get malnourished. But that's the road I'm on. We're looking at December again. For those that have followed me in the past, you know I had my last surgery on New Year's, well, the year before, or the day before New Year's Eve, 2014. So I think that's kind of what we're looking at again this year, folks. Anyway, this has been an 11-minute video. This is long, way past long. And if you're still with me, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, however, I'm going to wrap this one up. Be prepared uh, for more videos of this journey. Um, follow me if you don't already. If you have stumbled upon me, hello. Um, and just, uh, listen, I'm not saying anything bad about the gastric sleeve. It was fantastic. It was great until I had my other issues and I ate my way out of my issues. Am I still around? Yes, thank the Lord. Am I fatter? Yup. And you know what? That's okay because I'm out to make the change. So follow me, subscribe, um, and I'm going to do this with you. Um, if y'all have any questions, let me know. So good seeing y'all again on my next, uh, I'll give you an update. I gave blood today um, so they can check out my blood levels. Um, to see if I'll be good under anesthesia again and all that. And when there is an update here in the next week, two weeks, whatever, I'll jump back online. I promise not to be a stranger. Don't you guys be a stranger. I love y'all. Mean it. Bye-bye.